Well, hi, and welcome to my shop, and thanks for joining me here today. It's the 21st of June. That means the sun is at its highest point in the sky today. And talking about the sun, the weather continues to be fantastic here. I shouldn't even be in the shop right now. So, with that in mind, today is going to be another day of complete sunshine. Fantastic. What am I doing in my shop here? So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to eliminate all these, this type of capacitor here. You can see up here is one here. I've looked them over. It looks like most of them are in the audio circuits of the radio too. So I think what I'll try to do is concentrate on replacing what I think are audio oriented uh, dilapidated capacitors. I'll finish that phase of it play the radio. I'm quite interested in how the FM will sound at that point. There's a couple more of those capacitors. I think there's one or two buried up in here, uh, which may be affecting the RF stages. I should try to replace those two, but I'll do those secondarily or afterwards. And then beyond that, wow, I'm not sure what I'll do. I'll have to just... and, and then there's the one, the two microfarad electrolytic capacitor in the FM detector. That's pretty sure it's this one right here which I will go after after I do the uh, paper ones so I think I'm just gonna come back in the shop periodically and do another capacitor or two and just keep working away at it today that way so I can get outside right okay which is fine and also I'm doing this at uh, the easy easy ones first but I like to do the hardest of the easy ones <laughs> to get it out of the way and unfortunately those are really ugly it looks to me looks like this one here ooh, and another one right in here yikes okay those are my first those are my first two I'll go after the two toughies get rid of the two toughies that's like eating the uh, food on your plate that you don't like first so the good food is there afterwards Okay, turns out it's not two, it's three capacitors down in this area of the radio. Let's make a little space here. Got one, two, and three. This one I can probably do up on top. Let's take a let's take a closer look with the other camera here. So this one's got lots of lead. Is that? It's a little odd because it's in a uh, it's in a metal metal. Uh, looks like it's in a, looks like it's in a metal. It doesn't look the same as say this one right here, which has that brown gunk coming out the ends. This is really what I'm after. These guys. This one here. Um, you know, this is really quite easy to change, but that's not a good enough reason to do it. Um, I'm going to continue with the two I was targeting. Uh, this guy here. Where's, where's the lead on it? It must just be dropping straight down through the board and I can't see it. So I have to decide whether I want to try to put the replacements right in the top here or fit them in the bottom. Can I ever get in here and get anything done? Uh, the fact is if you can fit the capacitor in through the holes up on top here so the holes so you know so the leads pop out underneath it's pretty t pretty easy from there. Maybe this isn't this as uh, difficult as I think. Yeah, I, I, I think it's easier than I think. Okay, lots of talk, lots of looking. I'm actually going to do something now. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut those two capacitors out. And we're going to test them. Be 
cutting this out or should I? Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Maybe yeah, I should be desoldering and pulling it out so I can identify where the lead is on the other side properly. Let's cut it out. So I'm, I'm, I'm leaving lots of lead length in here, at least where I can. Closer look at this. Oh, wrong camera. Showing, I'm showing it to the wrong camera. Here we are. Two microfarads. Oh my gosh! I've cut out. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, so this, this, well, okay, surprise, it's not what I thought it was. What am I reading there? Kilovolts? it can't be kilovolts. Well, I have messed up here a little bit in that I've cut out something I didn't even think it was what I was cutting out. <laughs> then the other one that I think is, uh, see I, I saw the end of this and it kind of looks a lot like the others, that white stuff showing up there. You know, this will probably have to be changed out anyway. This is probably the two microfarad critical capacitor for the FM detector. And then this one, which I thought looked like an electrolytic one, is not. Okay, well, <laughs> so much for my ability to identify capacitors here. So this other one, to cut it out, oh boy. I test it, but uh, can't really see it. Just gonna have to kind of ooh, lots of finger crossing going on here because uh, I gotta I gotta locate these terminals properly without making a mistake. Here is oh yeah okay let's take now this is more what I thought I was pulling out. Let's take a look at this one. Looks like something really chewed on it. Wow. So I think this is typical of this type of capacitor. How exactly it gets into this state, you know, after years, I don't know. But uh, crummy it must be. I've got enough wire there to test it. <laughs> is it even worth testing? Yeah, let's give it a go. The, uh, the other one also. Yeah, very, very, very tiny amount of lead left. Let's give it a try. OK, 
there. Okay, put your money down. I would say the 50 volt test, the lowest voltage test, this eye is gonna stay closed on this piece of crap capacitor. Are we ready? Is everything set? Yes, it is. Here we go. Oh, and it opened, oh, it opened about three quarters of the way. I think we can bet at 150 volts, nothing's coming open here. So, yeah, it's as bad as it looks. Not sure they can get too much worse than that, really. Okay, got one out. Hey, let's try that electrolytic one. Now, testing electrolytic ones, just a little more. Just, just a little more. First of all, I gotta get the polarity right. Just ripped the lead right off the end of it. There's still a little terminal thing sticking out there though. Okay, we switch this to an electrolytic. That makes the machine much less sensitive because all electrolytic capacitors leak a little bit normally. 50 volts and just bring my light here. Here we go. Um, how high a voltage can we go? I don't know. 150? It's it's open just a wee wee bit. <clears throat> okay, so I'm into the radio a little deeper than I thought already. I sort of promised myself not to take out that electrolytic capacitor after the others have been done. I'm trying to isolate the effects of what I'm doing when I'm working on these radios to make it apparent to me when you know improvements happen or improvements don't happen so I'm just more conscious of yeah I'm just more conscious okay well I'm gonna struggle away now I don't think I'll do it on camera though I'll try to get the two capacitors back in and then I still gotta decide about this this third one or thing maybe I better just do these two first and be happy with that Okay. So uh, I'm right in the middle of uh, moving this. Uh, Jazz, I could hear some funny sounds coming out of the speaker. Oh, but the radio's not even plugged in. So look. The uh, voice coil piece here. Just, it's just broken free. I guess it must be riveted like that. <clears throat> okay, uh, right. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I gotta do something because one good tug on those wires and I could ruin that speaker in a couple of different ways. Son of a gun. Uh, <laughs> okay, more to think about. More to think about. And meanwhile, I now regret having cut the uh, leads of the little capacitor because I think I'm going to have a heck of a time uh, clearing the holes through the board to put the new part in. Okay, a little frustration a little high. Time for a break. Okay, spent lots of time outside. This fell out of the radio. A little foam, foamy block, or not really foam, it's some kind of fiber material. It's falling out of somewhere. Okay, now what I hope to do here is grab the, you know, it was stupid of me to not pull those capacitors out as opposed to cutting them. Now I'm really, really in trouble here. So I'm going to get a grip of what's left of the capacitor lead on one of them. Okay, here we are. I got a grip. I don't have a grip. This is not going to go well. Grip on it. Okay, nice tight grip. Now, I'm pretty sure it's there <laughs> from previous previous stuff. Let's see if it's true.
feels like it right there. Yep, there it goes. There we are. Okay, so there's one lead goes there. One lead goes there. And which one am I working on now? Am I working on the... Uh, I'm not even sure which one. Is it the electrolytic one? Which one am I doing? Oh boy, oh boy. So this is the non-electrolytic one. And uh, now I have to spot the other. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> You're going to hear me say that many, many times. So I'm just about to try to pull the other uh, lead out. And I'm going to show you how I figure out one side of the board to the other. There, there's a number of ways. One, one, this is what I do. I'm trying to get my finger on the point of interest here. Just right here. Well, then I just take my other finger, and, and I can kind of tell where I am, I can, you know, because it's my hand, it's my own hand, so I think it's way up under in here, oh my gosh, really? Oh my gosh, come on. And I cannot, and here's that other part, that green thing, right there, oh my gosh, what am I going to do here? Situation's even worse. The situation is even worse. Um, well, I'm just gonna. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? Problem is, there's three wire ends sticking out right there. There should only be two. What's going on over here? What's going on there? Okay, hold on. Never mind what I was doing. I just spotted something else here. What? What is going on? Let me get the other camera. camera which made it to the floor. <laughs> okay. What's going on with that right there? Um so it looks like a piece of stranded wire wrapped around a, a solid conductor wire and then the the end here it looks like it's shorted but it's not it's floating what the heck is this you know there's so much dust and dirt in here okay so I think a trip to the vacuum cleaner is warranted because uh, uh, obviously I'm gonna be digging all around in here I might as well vacuum the whole thing out and then we'll take another look at that it, it looks, it looks, I don't know what to make of that. Okay, vacuuming, I will go. Okay, let's see what a quick vacuuming can do there. Look again at this point. So that's a, sh this, this is a shielded wire coming over. The shield is wrapped around this still totally shot in there. I can't see anything. How about that? Looks like it's soldered. Looks like they just wrapped a whole bunch of uh, the shield around this. Look at all this stuff here in this piece of wire. Which is really is it coming from? Where is it going to? So these three terminals here, these three things sticking up, what, what the heck are those? Now 
one of them has a lot of stuff hooked up to it, In including So, you know, a lot of stuff hooked up to it is another way of saying that's probably a B minus or a, a ground terminal. Sorry, I can't work my camera here. There. So, I think all they did was they just kind of wrapped that around there. It's, it's kind of a weird arrangement. The actual conductor is going down into the board. And while we're here, what about this little capacitor right there? Probably okay. Ugh. Okay, and then the uh, place where I'm going to be putting my replacement in is right through that hole over to. Oh, I haven't pulled it out yet. That piece of wire. That's what I'm after. That piece of wire. Right at the bottom of the screen there. I can barely see it. That's what I'm going to grab onto attempt to desolder. See if I can pull this trick off. Put this on its back. I don't have to worry about the speaker every time I move this. Okay, now I gotta get a grip, grip, grip on it. Here. Oh boy, I'm going to grip on something, I can't even see it. Okay, I have a pretty firm grip on it. I mean, I don't know where it is back here. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be just melting everything back here. Let's just... Oh, um, well, I'm just going to have to start guessing, I guess. I guess, I guess. I guess I'll have to guess. So I'm trying to pull on the wire so I can feel. Sometimes when you just touch the wire, even though it's soldered in the board, you can kind of tell. I can't tell. Let's try this. This one first. This is a bad move. It's not that. This one. No. This is a crazy way to do this. this is oh my gosh, it's all down in this stuff. See right in there. Let's switch cameras here. Anybody see what I did with the camera? One of these. One of these, it's, it's a wire, so it has to be a little wire coming through, not a... Uh, well, there's a wire right down beside that terminal. 
any idea how I can get there with it. This one right here. hard to do looking in the camera. Melt, melt. There, melt it. No. I could be wrecking all these connections here, son of a gun. right under that green coil. Uh, let me try and locate this again. There. My hand's wearing out. I got my hand squeezed on that pli pliers. green thing a little bit here. Take a peek underneath. So there's there's a wire right down there. That one. Could be it. Oh my hand is killing me here. Okay, let's try that one. Now where did it go? soldering iron in there. What am I melting? I'm melting something. Melting wire insulation. No, 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 no. This is a, what you would call a small disaster happening here. So I'm going to stop and think about this because maybe there's an alternative here I hadn't thought of that would work better than what I'm trying to do, which I think I think is leading to uh, potentially a lot more trouble. I'm not going to build trouble into this radio. What irks me the most, it was working pretty good when I started. <laughs> okay, yeah, time to go back outside, I think. Enjoy some outdoors. Okay, I got an idea. I'm going to try to use my uh, ohmmeter here and determine uh, which traces which trace is the one I'm after. So I'm gonna clip this on that little piece of wire. Okay, and start poking. And roughly in here. Is it that? Is it that? Is it that? Is it anywhere near here? Is my own meter working? Is it this? That's a big ground area. Okay, is it down here? How about here? How about I stick my finger near it? Over this way. Oops. Is it this? Is it this? Is it this? Huh? Is it anything? 
Did my clip make contact? I think there's a thing right under here. Right here. That's nothing. So. Oh! There it is. Okay, I see it. Now, does that make sense? Here. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense, it doesn't. Um, well, it's a trace, it goes a distance. It's further, probably further up on the trace. Maybe here. Maybe up here. And that's the end of the trace. But it comes from a wire. Okay, so it's following this green wire down to here, down to here, down here somewhere, down to here. No? Am I wrong about that? I am wrong about that. Okay, the green wire is on a different terminal, but it follows this resistor here, I think. Yeah. So this resistor. So I have a long lead here to solder too, if I want to put the capacitor underneath here, which I think is probably what I'm going to do. Yeah, so yeah, because this is this would be easy to stick a capacitor underneath if I just find the other, the other, the other terminal, which I think I've cleared away. So there's a hole through it, through the board. And I should be able to find that hole. Let's give that a try. So if I can do that. Where are you, little hole? Okay, so I mean, I think I'm on my way here. I, th I think I've got. A, I think I've got enough of the solution here that it's going to work. That's what I think. Okay. Uh, find the hole. Okay. Okay, so I've decided the better move is to unsolder, clear the holes, put the part in from the top. So I'm going to try to unsolder it. Oh boy. Oh, son of a gun. So this radio is extremely top heavy. All this hardware up here and the, this transformer, as soon as I tip it a little bit, away it goes. Let's try again. Speaker. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on here? Ah. Okay, so we're gonna solve the speaker problem here right now, like that. Speaker problem solved. You can always hook up a temporary speaker. It'd be a much smarter move at this point than trying to work with the defective speaker. Okay, what now? Well, I am trying to grab that little piece of wire and pull it out. Can it grip? Well, let's hope this is it right away. No. This one's gotta be it, come on. Yeah, that's it. There it goes. It's like extracting a tooth. You ever notice when a dentist is pulling your tooth? You ever had a tooth pulled? A dentist is pulling your tooth? You know what they don't do? They don't do what I just did. They don't grab your tooth and start pulling like this. Okay. They actually, if you look at their tool, they have a, a pair of pliers, grabs the tooth like this, but has a hook on the side of it. It hooks the good tooth next to it. And then they use the tooth next to it to 
pry and pry and pry your tooth out. Isn't that terrible? I have to have a tooth extracted shortly. So <laughs> the remnants of a tooth extracted. So, so that's how they pull it out. They don't, they don't yank like this because if they did, my God, they'd throw your tooth right across the room when it came out. It'd be a big sucking sound. <laughs> I don't think you'd ever go to that dentist again after that experience. Yes, siree. Okay. Somehow talking about teeth being extracted is a more comforting thing than thinking about working on this radio. So did I get both holes? I think I may have one hole open now. Let's take a look. See, so I have one hole open. I'm just going to go right in. Fantastic. Now the other one. So what I'm going to do, i got to push the lead into the other hole. I think that's the other hole. Maybe not. This is the hole way up here. Wait a minute. Really? All that way? Okay, so it's two, through two holes. What do we got? Where, where did it end up? How can you possibly see? Let's go like this. Let's see if I can click a button there. Oh, there we are. Perfect. That's exactly where it's supposed to be. Perfect. One done. Okay. Now, I just need, well, it's not quite done, is it? Solder it in. Where's the other lead? Right here. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. Let me tip this right on top of itself. I don't think it's a good idea. Let's try it. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's not a good idea to do that. Not a good idea. block. That's too big, I think. That's good. There. It's still a little more stable. Oh my gosh, I got the wrong camera going. Oops. Oops. I have to talk to the producer about that. Okay, here we go. Down at the bottom of those towers are two wires I'm going to try to solder to. I figured out the polarity of this. By looking back at my Video. Now, if I'm lucky, I haven't put the camera right in the way here. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to see what I'm doing. bigger hook. Okay, here we go again. Oops. It's a midday afternoon here now. I haven't been in here too much till today. <clears throat> today. It's about 30 degrees outside, all day sunshine. And not overwhelming humidity. That's usually what happens around here. Come on. That's good. Whoops. 
Whoops, whoops, too many things happening. Good enough for now. I will we'll make the other connection. It looks a lot. Looks great with my eyes. <laughs> Don't look in the camera. Uh, there are pliers here. Here we are. Gonna make it. Oh yeah. Squeezing it with these wires. Let's see. Bingo. Okay, don't go anywhere. here. Oops. <laughs> Just for this exciting shot of the solder going on the wire. Look at that coil right there. I don't want to burn that. Solder there first. There we are. I don't know what you're seeing. I'm not seeing much more than you. Blobbing it around. It didn't go very well. Okay, I'm going to dump solder on the soldering iron. You're not supposed to do that. And serve it up. Look at that. That worked a lot better. Let's go back and fix up the other side. There we have it, <laughs> two capacitors. So I'm pretty sure this is a really critical one, as I said before, uh, said before for, uh, oh, just hang on a bit longer there, camera. There we go. Uh, a very important uh, capacitor for the detector, the FN detector. Okay, I think we're ready to test them now. I really had hoped to do a few more capacitors, but you know, two is okay. Two is two done. Um, so we're plugged in. Let me just turn off the soldering iron. And we need to lift this. There. The radio's off. Power's on with the dim bulb. Okay, power's off. AM, volume down, power on through the bulb. I like to come on. Oh, I think I know the problem. <laughs> okay. Power off. Switch off. Okay, yeah, much better chance of it working this time. Switch is off, power's on, nothing happens, power off, AM on. Here we go, watching the bulb. Fantastic. Everything's lighting up. What's it running on here? Even with the bulb in, it's 115. Well, wait till it gets a little more current going here. 113, 111. Looks like maybe 105 is where it's going to settle out. Let's leave it there. We're on AM.
Corey Connors. List of one was three under through five. Tied for That's the lead this? at 14. Wow. Nine under, one under, wow. Through eight. Okay. Couple finals from the yeah, that sounded Premier good. That's not that bad. That's West Ham two zip. Brighton beat Arsenal two one. Make a better speaker. Leicester City played to a one one tie. Great. Okay, here we go though. What happened to FM? Oh, I need an FM antenna. Use, we can use this. Piece of wire here. Wasn't it the top here? And I'll just clip this up here. What do we get? Volume up pretty high to get the get the hiss. Oh, turn the again. Hey, roofing and sheet metal at seven oh five seven two eight eighty eight eighty eight. That's seven oh five seven two eight eighty eight eighty eight. Forty minutes of music is rolling out. We're Mac FM. Magic guy here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't have it on music like that. I'm gonna get a copyright hit for that. I bet. Okay, watch the eyes they tune through. Here. There's a worry here that if that legislation. Not much else. Something funny went there. Okay, nothing else. Just that. Could be a crummy antenna arrangement, or it could be more weakness in here. Could be weak on IF. Could be weak, weak, weak tube. Could be lots of stuff, yeah. But uh, wow, that was a pretty good improvement. For sure, it was that uh, two microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Okay, that's it. I'm done for today. And ooh, what was that? Did everybody see that? Anybody see that? I thought I saw this jumper right up out of the corner of my eye. And cultural objects returned. Countless indigenous pieces of art and human remains are held by museums in Canada and around the world. The government's providing five hundred thousand dollars to provide a range Just listen of to it very carefully. to support the process. And finally, a community south of Calgary, where a gas leak prompted an evacuation, says the leak has been contained. An Alberta emergency alert was issued earlier today that there was a significant gas leak following an incident in downtown Black Diamond. CBC News, I'm Dennis Kilman. Weather. Here's the weather forecast for Barry Hironia. Sunny in the morning, then a mix of sun and cloud and chance of showers this afternoon. There's also a risk of a thunderstorm and the high today is 30. The Humidex, 35. Overnight, a low of 17. And on Sunday, mix of sun and cloud, chance of showers and a high of 29. And in Peterborough and the Kawarthas, mix of sun and cloud today with a chance of showers this afternoon. The high is 31. The Humidex is 36. Overnight, a low of 15. Chance of showers continues. That is fantastic. That's fantastic. Wow. Really? <laughs> I think this has sat in my garage for a few years. And every time I looked at it, I thought, oh, no. There's no. <laughs> wow. Yes. Yes. It's a yes. Okay, more capacitors on the next video. See ya.